Uh, welcome back everybody so today we're doing a, a new type of uh, video that i don't usually do so as you guys could see on my screen i have this incredibly handsome looking man on screen not the guy in the red shirt as fugly as hell <laughs> but i'm talking about the dude in the dark blue shirt his name is leon lush so I generally don't make these type of uh, videos uh, reacting to other YouTubers. Uh, but I decided to give something new a try. So I despise TikTok for a very, very good reason. For a very, very red series type of reason. So we're going to watch a video. We're going to watch Leon react to a guy. And then you're going to be watching me reacting to Leon reacting to a very sketchy individual today's video explores the story of a helpless child named timmy that had been missing for two weeks only to be found lost and afraid on a beach by famous tiktoker two turn tony who then took him to a movie two turn tony for some reason okay. and reunited him with his family <laughs> but it doesn't stop there you see that happened in july of last year and since then it's been a roller coaster ride of little timmy reunions questions about his parents' ability to properly care for him, stunts from Tony, like impersonating Timmy's father in order to get him out of school. All right, that's a special right there, right there. So let, let, let me see if I, if, I, if, I got, if I got this straight. So, all right, so this is, a this is a TikTok, so it's obviously something that is scripted, so let's keep that in mind. And, Leon has done his homework and it looks like he's been in contact with uh, some people. So before people start uh, overreacting too much, overreacting more than I'm going to overreact to the video, let's keep in mind that it is a staged thing. It's all scripted out. But you have to keep in mind that this is a... <laughs> Grown a grown ass man that's teaming up with a kid to make videos. I mean, it doesn't take rocket science to obviously understand what child exploitation is, right? Back to you, Leon. And most recently, a legal battle as Tony attempts to adopt little Tim. All right, what what the heck is this? What is this? He's always topless that's that's another thing like he's always topless so leon just said that the kid has the guy has impersonated the kid's father in order to take him out of school to make another video and then apparently he's taking the father to uh, to court to, or for a custody of the kid uh-huh uh-huh that's continue me from his mysterious and assumed negligent biological parents. Okay, I'm done being dramatic. There is an almost 100% chance this is an ongoing yeah. scripted bit, but I've gotten multiple emails and messages from people that think it's real. And when you read the comments on the videos, it's clear a lot of his audience does too. So we're going to... So Simba Sweeney says, no, because even a little kid would want to go home after two weeks. Something must be wrong at home. Armchair psychology. I'm gonna treat it as such because somehow in 2023, we still haven't learned that everything you see on the internet is fake, especially if the person putting it out is incentivized by views and money, much like this money. video right now. I'm not the. All right, so I, I don't know if uh, I'm gonna keep this part. I'm gonna contact Leon. Uh, well, firstly, to make sure that I have his permission to use his video. Uh, and see how he feels about me using his sponsor in his own video. Like, I'm not getting anything out of his sponsorship. It's his code. So let's just write it out. So it's a Raycon uh, sponsor. Real Leon Lush. I'm the deep fake AI version that he tortures and keeps trapped in this office. The dude's funny, man. The dude's funny. Please help. So join me as we start at the beginning Leon. of this story in July of last year. We forgot our beer bong. But this nice little boy let us use his toy. Oh, sweet, huh? 
He was a very kind and curious boy. The child's toy beer bong. That is an elegant touch. You can see. <laughs> That's where he used the. It's just, I, I've, I watched parts of this before, and it's just actually hitting me that they used his toy as a, as a beer bong. Very much, very class. It's midnight. I'm hoping I'm not waking up my neighbors with this video. Timmy looking on in wondrous amazement in the background there. He even poured me a bush latte. Uh, all right, this is an American video. I don't know how uh, people feel about the kids handling uh, alcohol, but in Canada, it's kind of a no-no. Kids and alcohol do not mix. So what does that shirt say? All-star snoozer. <laughs> all right. And then we took him to see where the crawdads sing. Listen, if you ever meet a cool kid that's on the beach by himself, just scoop him up and take him to a movie after a couple of sand toy funnels. It's not rocket science. What kind of, what kind of freaking logic is this? What kind of freaking logic is this? Obviously, it's TikToker logic and people thinking that this is 100% real. So they met up with a kid on the beach and then they took him to see a, a movie in the theaters. So how would you how would you feel a stranger picks up your kid from the beach and then takes him to watch a movie after hanging out with him all freaking day long on the beach? Found his parents have been looking for him for over two weeks. I'm sorry, two weeks? You said he was he was missing two for two weeks? Do Deuce. On, on the beach? Was he just living on the beach? <laughs> Eating seaweed and turtles? What are we talking about here? This is a lot That's why people of information are to process stupid from a 30 second online, video. When now, when this, this video kind of dropped, stuff. Tony's viewers had many questions they wanted answers to, understandably. And of course, this video crushed in the algorithm. So, seven months later, the missing kid lore continues, just like we'll continue after this word from the real Leon Lush about our video sponsor. I have certain routines that help keep me sane. For instance, when it's time for a break from working in this office, I grab my Raycon wireless earbuds, right, so I go this outside, is, I thought it was, listen to classic I thought his ad was coming up earlier, but no, this is air his and sunlight. Their everyday earbuds have become a mandatory part of my healthy habits, and I bet that they have a product that could complement your lifestyle as well. Whether it's gaming headphones, a speaker, or a pair of wireless earbuds, you're getting premium audio starting at half the price so of other pay attention, guys, because I've had this, this pair for years, and the custom gel tips are amazing. Not once have they fallen loose out of my ear, even when I'm getting a pump in my basement. They're Big reliable, the battery rocks, and they have intuitive earbud uh, tap functions that make easy to switch between custom sound profiles. Forever. So I can just long press Disgusting. the left earbud for three seconds to switch between a balanced sound uh, for my walks or some extra bass for my hype gym playlist. Now the support you guys have shown Raycon and I over the past four years through using my link has been incredible. It really helps this channel and I'm very grateful. That said, if you're ready to buy something small with a big impact, click the link in the description box or go to buyraycon.com slash Leon Lush to get 15% off your Raycon purchase. All right, so if you guys want a discount on your Raycon uh, headphones, use code Leon Lush and you'll get 15%. How much are you paying me for this, uh, Leon? Because I, I want my cut. I want my cut. Thumbs are tough. Continue a quick background on two turnt Tony. With almost 20 million TikTok followers, he is this generation's turn, Van Tony. Margera, almost to a T, just maybe a little bit more unlikable. Tony is your quintessential, always shirtless, raucous prankster and rebel that knows no limits when it comes to entertaining. And while his quirky father that's in on it often plays the sidekick role, his mother is, that's or acts, perpetually traumatized as if she's some sort of hostage in their dysfunctional online family that she wished would just behave once in a while. All right, warning, like, her mom is, I mean, his mom is so, I mean, he might be a her, who knows. Uh, I didn't look at his uh, bio, I didn't read uh, what his uh, pronouns are. So, uh, to turn Tony, might that be uh, a her or... Uh, <laughs> Sorry if I offended you with two turn Tony. Uh, turn around twice and uh, we'll get over it. <laughs> All right. So, yeah, his mom is freaking off putting, like you wouldn't believe. So, let's just, instead of me talking about it, let's hear her. What was that? That was good. What is going on? Oh, God. God damn it. Oh, it's in the prison. I don't know if it's a joke. I can't. 
Shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up. Shut up. Sorry, mom. Well behaved boys don't print that easy internet money. And that is unfortunately freaking true. Like the worst people are discovered online and they fucking make millions of dollars off of your stupidity. They're not stupid. They're actually pretty smart because they count on you being the freaking idiot. Yeah, th these type of people, man, are so off-putting, man. They're so off-putting. But I love Leon. He's not off-putting. He is a class act. Let's get on with it. Feel me? His anonymous girlfriend that goes by the pseudonym Ski Mask Girl is featured heavily in his videos as well, where she sports various ski masks, often accompanied by just a bikini. I'm sure I've seen her uh, on some sort of hub. Uh, put a shirt on both of you. ...and a whole lot of ass cheeks, which perfectly rounds out this tried and true content model that has seen him find massive success these last several years and likely landed on your For You page more than once. Oh, and apparently he also has an OnlyFans where he charges Disgusting. upwards of a hundred bucks for a picture of him There's doing some a print wearing boxers house, or something. In this Listen, house. I didn't do the research myself. Two young men I found on YouTube were kind enough to do it for me. <laughs> $130 I just paid for a boxer. Look, look at this dude. Look at this dude. <laughs> the one the gray sweater. He is very much paying attention. <laughs> Dick print. As printed as that $9 one on his wall. Yeah. So now that we have a little context about Tony and the gang, let's great get work back guys. to this great missing work child storyline that keeps his audience begging for more. This was just a few weeks after the first video with little Timmy in July of last year still. All right, so most of all remember that dope little lost kid we met on the beach who let us use his toy as a drinking apparatus. Here you go. And then we took him to see the movie where the crawdads sing. <laughs> but eventually the cops came and informed us that he'd been missing for over two totally weeks. Normal. <laughs> and yeah, totally normal. And then to his family. Yeah, to his credit, this part looks pretty authentic. I don't know if it's unrelated or if they hired cops or maybe they have cop friends they got in on the bit. The, my, the assumed. Or maybe likely what could have happened was enough people were concerned about the kid and they called the police so they could have Child Protection Services look into this guy to make sure that he wasn't a, uh, a danger. So that's why the cops showed up at his place. Just my one plus one equals two. Because it does look very much uh, authentic. Bit here, but uh, yeah, that, that looks like the only, the, like they never show his parents, little Timmy's, as you'll see coming up. I don't know if that's supposed to be his mom or something, but. Today, I was invited to visit. All right. Hold on, pause. Yeah. Rewind. All right, so the guy's pretty jacked. He he obviously works out. Uh, you can see that his shoulders are quite uh, testosterone. I mean, uh, quite rounded out and takes care of himself. Very cool, very good. And then we go to the lower half. Where are your calves? Where are your legs? Do you even squat, bro? Do you even squat except for above the toilet seat? Guys, don't skip leg day. Don't skip leg day. At least do it once a week. Hey! I introduced him to... Mom, there's a topless man at the door. <laughs> Can I go play with him? Baby girl. And his duck. Each other. I gave him some two-turret merch. And, of course, matching posters. Okay, I'm a bit... Okay, I, I okay, I was I was wrong. I didn't actually uh, pay attention to this part. So, his upper legs look like he does train, but it could also be the way that he's sitting down uh, makes his legs look bigger. But uh, no calf game. No calf game. Those are some baby calves for our favorite movie. Then we just had a good time and beer bong some Capri Suns. <laughs> beer bong and Capri Suns hanging out with Tony's pet duck. Life is good for little Timmy. 
And just like one it. month later, like he makes another cameo, and we continue the story. Did you take that little kid you found to the fans? Did you take that little kid you found to the kids, uh, to the fans' wedding? Wedding. I did. So most of all remember that cool little lost kid we found on the beach. Found out he'd been missing for two weeks. Cops came, took him home. Gives us a slightly modified well, I call version of every time. And with a little persuading, they let me take him to the fans' wedding. Hi, Hop in, baby. So he's... All right. <laughs> all right. So uh, let's pause. Big pause. Big pause right there. So that's that's the scene where I my the the gears and the old noggins started turning more and more, and that's where that this is kind of like when I decided to make a reaction to this video. All right, so picture you as a parent. I know there's a lot of uh, family men that watch my videos. You know, I'm more centrist, kind of conservative. And judging by the demographic, the cities that watch my content, I could surmise that you guys are all mostly uh, conservatives, family people too. All right. So that being said, can you imagine if <laughs> can you imagine if a guy like me, a stranger, approaches you, a parent, and I ask you, "Hey." Can I borrow your kid to make some videos on TikTok with? Would you say yes or would you say no? Or would you just call the police on me? So, again, imagine I ask you if I could borrow your kid so I can make some videos. I'm a stranger to you. Are you going to say yes? And then let's say you're dumb enough to say yes. And then you see the videos that I've been posting <laughs> with your kid. Nothing, nothing, nothing disgusting, but definitely questionable uh, content. I'm a well-built guy, uh, always topless. Again, playing with a stranger's kid. And then I start paying you to borrow your kid to make these videos. <laughs> So we're going to put a pause over there and then we're going to add more to the story later on. So after those questions, you should also ask yourself, why the hell are you not beating the holy daylight out of me? Anyway, back to Leon. Insinuating that he called Timmy's parents and bribed them with a thousand dollars to let him take him to a wedding. Okay. I mean, that's <laughs> sure. Can I rent your kid? There, there, there's, there's no way to not sound sus. That's believable. To get candy. Brought you some merch. And after a four hour drive, we made it. And we had a good ass time. Watch it, you little fucker. Although he. No, don't like that. Nothing I hate more than adults swearing around and especially adults swearing at kids. No, not freaking cool. As you guys can tell, I try not swearing in my videos as much as I could. Don't swear at kids. I want to swear so badly now because... He did refuse to eat unless it was McDonald's. And he did not like to share. Sounds like my son. Typical American. He was spitting mad game with these twins all night. Even made a sandcastle with Player. the bride herself. It was a magical night until the cops showed up. Apparently there was a little miscommunication between me and his parentals. So we had to get the fuck out of there. Spent the rest of the night hiding out and making sandcastles on the beach. Like... Again, guys, keep in mind, this is scripted, but like the guy is such, the guy's an idiot. He has no idea how he's painting himself out. He literally just said his parents, the kid's parents, misunderstood what two turn Tony wanted to do with the kid. And they said, uh uh, we made a mistake. We don't want you to take the kid. 
anywhere. So then he panics and he says, he took the kid and he freaking bolted out of there. Freaking bolted out of there. And spent the rest of the day at the beach. That's kidnapping. You're insinuating you kidnapped a freaking kid. After the parents said, give me back my kid. Anyway. So by this point, little Timmy's become a bit of a celebrity cameo every time he pops up in Tony's videos. But it's been a few times now and the audience loves it. The views are good. So let's turn up the heat a little bit and see where we can take this thing. He gives us a little taste here and includes this screenshot insinuating that Timmy's parents called the police because they weren't aware the thousand dollar bribe uh, he gave them, gave him the right to bring him all the way to Chicago, four hours away. But a week later, we turn it up a little bit more. You should take that little kid you found on a vacation. All right. So today I paid his parents $500 to let me hang out. So he just does whatever his what fans uh, ask. That's not very nice, poo poo boy. Bro, grow up. You boys ready? He still didn't get along with baby girl, but that's Smile. okay. So baby girl's the he duck. He did start crying because our driver looked like this. <laughs> we told. Okay, why why is the kid crying? That's actually really what I want to know. Why is the kid crying? So saying here, she's trying to bite me. So the duck is a female. So clearly, it seems like he doesn't like the duck. He still didn't get along with baby girl, but that's smile. okay. We're well, asking the guy, the kid to smile, and he's not smiling. Not, guys, kids are good actors, but when they don't want to do something, when they don't like what they're doing, they can't really hide their emotions. That is not a happy kid. He tried. He did also. And that is definitely not a happy kid. Why is he Start crying? Like he's, he, he's drawing himself close, trying to protect him, protect himself. Like, because <sighs> our driver looked like this. We told him we'd take him anyway. And you'll never guess what he said. Like for part two. <laughs> like to continue watching my video. If you're not liking the video. If you're not pressing like on the video, you cannot. It is illegal. It's forbidden for you to continue watching this video unless you leave a like. I'll assume you left a like. Or you just left. So that was Ski Mask Girl that we talked about earlier. There's plenty of videos of her on his channel, as I mentioned. I don't just like not her. as big a part of this storyline. And I don't want to include too many ass cheeks for monetization reasons. One interesting bit I loved was this shot where the duck is in the car seat. And this kid is clearly uh, in a completely unsafe position in the seatbelt in the back seat. They don't actually oh, yeah, show like, clips of them right driving while he's like this. So well played by Tony intentionally baiting uh, by doing that for anyone that has kids. We told him we'd take him anywhere in the world, but he insisted on one place and one place only. And it was fucking Chicago again. And so we drove four and a half hours to Chi-Town. We wandered the city. This is a little fucker off. Is your mom hot? Good answer. And we went bar hopping, played some Jenga. He called. Oh, he's wearing a shirt. <laughs> As a shocker, don't ask kids if their if their mom is hot. I mean, alcoholic. <laughs> but then we found these disturbing drawings. Maybe he knows more than uh, he's letting on. Alcoholic. Kids are very susceptible. Kids are very perceptible. Is that the right word I wouldn't be using? If it's not the right word, just replace it with the right word. He made in our hotel room, and we don't know what to do. Kill duck. He's going to kill your duck? Okay. I'm going to talk to his parents about this one. So nice little vacation. They go back to Chicago. This sure one, however, felt duck. especially contrived, to me at least, with the, you know, kill Gordy and kill duck drawings at the end. Cute little touch. But by this point, this storyline has its hooks in me. And I'm not gonna lie, real or fake, I gotta know what's going on with little Timmy. This social media scripted bait and switch shit has absolutely worked, worked its magic on me. But now... But now, after you've watched this video, make sure you guys check out Leon Lush's uh, channel, check out his socials. Uh, I'm following him on uh, Twitter. I believe he also has an Instagram account. So make sure you follow him anywhere he is. I'm sure you'll find his stuff 
on his channel. Three more months go by before a new update. Fans are hungry for it. There you go, Leon. You should get two more uh, subscribers from uh, the three viewers. <laughs> They're going to watch my video. <laughs> And when we do finally see little Timmy again, Tony does what any good influencer would and raises the stakes once again. So earlier this year, I lost my best friend, my grandpa. And for a while, I was in a dark place huh. and didn't really know how to handle it. I even tried a man bun until I found this lost kid on the beach. And my life quickly started feeling meaningful again. So now we're appealing to people's emotions around the sorrow of dealing with a lost family member and then Leon is sharp man. That Leon this is narrative sharp. of finding a lost kid on the beach and taking him on vacations uh, all across the country. This one's really pulling at the heartstrings. Absolutely cranked on TikTok yet again. Let's let's continue. But I miss you in the Although I know we haven't seen little Timmy in a while now. Three months. Mostly because his stepdad did this last time I was there. Tony, Tony. Oh. Let's rewind that. Because his stepdad did this last time I was there. Tony, Tony! So, actually, let's finish it up. Hey. Is everyone okay? You just hit me with a fucking bush latte. <laughs> Thank you! So after... Stop swearing in front of kids, man. Stop swearing in front of kids. So his stepdad threw a beer can at Tony. I wonder why long consideration i have decided to pursue adopting little timmy in the tells me i'll keep you all updated boom drops the bomb on us all right apparently little timmy's stepdad's drunk throwing bush lattes at him while they're cruising around in the golf cart what else can tony do what all right so let's 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 think about this with a little bit of logic shall we so i asked you guys before would you let a stranger borrow your kid to make videos with questionable videos and then you watch the videos you're usually topless and you're swearing in front of your kid in front of the kid and all these things and according to the story you've kidnapped the kid a few times already you try getting the parents' permission to borrow the kid and you you were bribed and then you said no and then he runs away with your kid. So, again, why aren't you being the crap out of me for doing this shit? So, I think the stepfather had enough of that two turns Tony lost his crap one day when he saw Tony driving by with his stepson, lost his cool and threw a freaking beer can at him. I think it's justified. What option does he have but try to illegally adopt Timmy, basically? Gotta get Timmy out of that broken home that he's apparently being forced to live at. And I don't maybe the thousand dollar bribes aren't working anymore. We gotta get the legal system involved. Now, as any good human would do when they have a relationship with a child that they know is in an unsafe home environment, they turn to the TikTok comments to figure out what to do with them. Tony, take that little kid you found at the biggest Christmas store in the world. And he does just that. Okay. So I stole little Timmy from his parents again, and away <laughs> we went bro. to the biggest Christmas store stole in the world. Uh, and it was a good uh, month uh, on OnlyFans. All right, a little psychological uh, uh, truth. Be careful with people and what they joke about. Because quite often what people joke about is actually what's kind of like in their heart. Fans, so I gave him 60 seconds to buy whatever he wanted. Listen, one thing I've learned in my time on the internet is when you have a good month on OnlyFans, it's time to go on a shopping spree. I'm coming to get you, Timmy. Always the awkward And he's dressing him up like himself now. There's a fully grown man in a gingerbread outfit harassing kids. I just want you to know. We ended up spending almost $2,000. 
Wow. Little harmless fun in the biggest Christmas store in the world, spending that OnlyFans money. You love to see it, taking this kid out of his broken home, stealing him from his parents and showing him a good time. The internet loves this shit. So a couple more weeks goes by. We're into the new year now, 2023. Freaking and we get another Timmy video. This time we raise the stakes once again by a person. <laughs> By impersonating Timmy's dad, let's take a peek. Most All right, yeah. This I I hate this part. So keep in mind, this is scripted. It's an act, but pay attention to something. I'll let you know when. I don't know little Timmy, the yes, kid I found on the beach who'd been missing for two weeks. I've been trying to adopt him, but it hasn't really been going well. So the other day I called his school pretending to be his daddy. Timmy a little early tomorrow. Do you know what time we need to be picked up at? Noon. Okay. And it didn't go smoothly. I'm his daddy. I'm Timmy's daddy. She ended up trying to call his parents. Right, so I don't think she's in on this. Timmy being a kid, you know, causing trouble. He's obviously loving it. I was a little shit disturber too when I was a uh, kid. Uh, if you guys know Calvin and Hobbes, I was Calvin. <laughs> I was such a Calvin that I actually tried building the snowman graveyard in my front yard. And then my mom, then I asked my mom if we have any more red juice, fruit punch. For the snowmen, <laughs> she said yes, and then she saw my Calvin and Hobbes comic book open on that scene, and then she quickly grabbed the picture and said, you're not taking this outside, <laughs> show me what you did. <laughs> so, kid's having fun, he doesn't really understand what, what is whatever, so she clearly does not seem to be in on the funny joke so she tells him to st she tells timmy to stand by her and she's very much questioning the validity of tony coming to pick up timmy as any good person would i would have taken timmy told him to go inside asked for id if tony continued to to play, I would have called the police on his ass. I would have called the police on his ass. And I said I would have. Let's see what she does. That's fine. Hop in, Timmy. I meant to see ID or something. <laughs> Who? What is that? It's Baby Girl. Timmy, I don't know about this. I ended up showing her some of our TikToks together. Okay. And she let me take him. Did it? Oh, you're... And that's all it took. That's all it took took the guys she doesn't know who the guy is she just saw videos with him and timmy only people that you should be allowing with photo id and proof of guardianship are parents brothers sisters grandparents uncles uh, grandparents, aunts, direct family. Anybody that's not direct family, I don't give a fuck what kind of pictures and videos they show you that they have with the kid. The kid doesn't leave unless there's proof of guardianship. You're a famous TikToker? Why did you just lead with that? Here you go, just take this kid. I don't need to see proof of ID that you're his real father or anything. You're, That's I pretty mean, much what she did. You got millions of followers on TikTok? Hell yeah, go have some fun. You have a you want a duck? Hey, get this kid out of here. What's he doing in school? He's clearly living a better life on online with you. Classic. We'll see you tomorrow. You ready? Yeah! <laughs> Man, I would have, if I were the parents, if the parents weren't in on this, I would have fucking sued this dude. If he was lucky, I would have sued his ass. If he was not lucky, I would have fucking stomped him into next week. I hate school. Don't school. fuck with kids, man. Don't fuck with kids. We spent the rest of the day on the slopes. 
So him impersonating his dad and taking him out of school really had the comments chattering. <gasps> Honestly, she should meet, she should have, she should be reprimanded for what she did. Right, but he keeps going. He goes even farther. Just a few weeks later. So most of y'all know little Timmy, the kid I found on the freaking beach crazy man. Weeks, and we've had quite a few adventures together. Most recently, I impersonated his father to pick him up early from school. Hey! I'm Timmy's daddy. <laughs> and I guess he's making these videos, bro. He's making these videos. His parents must have not liked this one. Fuck school! Hard to believe that because like while that. I was unboxing fan mail today on my live, I received this. This is Timmy's name on it. Does anyone know what this is? It's a restraining order. So right here, it began to click. Because the other day at Home Depot, some dude kept trying to hand me a fucking envelope, but we thought it was a joke. This is not good. Okay, I, I just want to make uh, something very, uh, very clear. Uh, I don't think he is an actual danger to the kid. I am in no way insinuating that, that he is a uh, word that apparently we're not allowed saying on YouTube because we might be considered hateful content creators if we say the word that means a person that is a fanatic of the schoolyard playground. Why we're protecting these garbage people, I have no freaking idea. So I'm not insinuating in any way that two turns Tony is this at all. I don't see anything in him like that. But I do think he's a fucking idiot. He's a fucking idiot for making these type of uh, videos. Because this is what it's, this is what people would assume that he is if they don't know the context and uh, whatever. But he is an idiot. So pretending to receive a restraining order while doing a TikTok live is next level. I mean, this is good writing, honestly. If someone was on the fence, they're like, ah, these all seem pretty scripted. But now he's live and that he's received a, a legitimate restraining order. The question is great, I do man. have Leon is, is he clearly blurred this here in the actual re-upload of this to the TikTok, the story time one. But if he was streaming it live and showed the restraining order, I wonder if there's a screenshot somewhere and someone can see if it's no, like, he did right like, a to, real legal uh, document or not, right? Blur it out. I have to imagine it's unrelated. It looks like he's actually covering some, not only something with his fingers. Is so. he covering up Who his knows? information? Anyways, he's also a covering bid to really other people's continue information. To sell so. this outlandish, unbelievable at least he's responsible um, story that. that's been going on for six months. But Colin, you want to take a look at this? They're saying it's a restraining order. Let me see. I mean, yeah, that's exactly what it is. I feel like I took care of him with anything. That's stupid as fuck. Let's call a lawyer. If y'all have any insight on how to get these removed, please let me know. Never a fucking dull moment. Listen, if you ever get a restraining order, just ask your TikTok audience <laughs> how to get it removed. I kind of, I, I feel that might be uh, his reaction to receiving a, something like that, uh, especially recording it uh, live. He does generally seem that he might be uh, surprised by it. He does make the comment that he thought he took care of everything. I'm pretty sure he what he meant when he said he took care of everything. He meant he paid off the family with the big bucks. That's definitely the way to go. I'm sure they have some pretty deep, meaningful insight on what to do with that particular information. I'm just curious how little Timmy could have been missing for two weeks and still look like that and not be starving. That's a ridiculous question. Why would Tony lie about something so serious? I mean, we're going on seven months now, this story has continued. There's no way he would carry it on this long if it was just a bit. There's a lot of detectives in the comments now starting to ask questions, right? But a lot of people that are genuinely concerned for little Timmy. <laughs> <laughs> Which is fucking insane. So that brings us up to now. Just a few days ago, by the time I upload this video, our most recent update on the Little Timmy situation. So most of y'all know Little Timmy, the lost boy I found on the beach, who had been missing for two weeks. I want to go. I want to we became good friends, but his parents hit me with a restraining order. I mean, yeah, that's exactly what it is. So I called his dad from Star 67 and offered to pay a large portion of Timmy's college. $1,000 towards his college fund of choice. Did you say if they would lift it. Now, I haven't received a direct yes or no answer from the parents yet, but they did say Timmy wants to talk to me, so we set up a FaceTime. I think the parents got fed up with 
whatever was going on with uh, Timmy and uh, two turns, uh, Tony. And it looks like he's trying to settle out of uh, court. So we do, we know how expensive I'm Canadian. So I know how expensive, uh, colleges are in the U S so him offering to pay for his education is huge. So I think that's kind of what's going on. I'm called. How you been doing? Good. I miss you, bud. I miss you too. How's school? Oh. When can I visit you? That's Soon. A, I'm trying, buddy. A, try harder. The, the kid obviously likes, uh, obviously likes uh, Tony. Damn. I think Gordy wants to say hi. No. Oh, I'm putting a booger on your face. So when I look at you now, you have a booger on it. <laughs> you have a bloody oh. Yeah. Hey. I'm going to show gummy worm in your Ooh, I like that. I mean, to Tony's credit, he has crafted a master narrative. I, I don't like his dad, man. I don't like his dad. human emotion. The idea of the child's safety being in jeopardy, the feel-good moment of him finding him, helping Tony get over his dead grandfather. I mean... The way he's crafted this is a masterclass in emotional manipulation via short form video. So that is the current lore of Timmy the Lost Boy and Tony's battle for adoption and against restraining orders. After receiving some emails and messages personally and reading some online conversations taking place about this particular story, I've learned a few things. The first is that while many people have a brain developed enough to see the reality of what this is, there are large swaths of people that will believe absolutely anything. The people that are always online, the TikTokers, the Twitter twatters, get offline. No matter how outrageous and become emotionally invested in that thing. The second is that if we rule this out as being real, should there be a conversation around whether it's ethical to script this storyline? That's a good question. That's a good question. I'll. Sorry to cut you off, Leon, but I'll rewind it. That is an excellent question. be a conversation around whether it's ethical to script this storyline that Whoa, insinuates stop. this neglected child was lost for two weeks and is now being forced to stay in an unsafe home environment while Tony occasionally bribes his parents to see him and take him on trips so he can make these TikToks that do incredible numbers. I've become a bit apathetic with age, so while it's certainly not something I'd do personally, exploiting a kid to get a bunch of views seems relatively commonplace online these days. I'd much rather this all be the fabrication that it is with Timmy being a nephew or something and having a loving family, etc., than some reality where... I hope, I hope that Tony is in some way related to uh, to uh, to Timmy because, like, even if it's scripted, a stranger or a friend of the family doing shit like this with or without your consent, like, it's, it's fucking, it's freaking creepy. It's freaking creep the frig p timmy can't escape an abusive home life which is unfortunately the reality for so many children in this cruel world the other question raised is that if millions of young kids watch this and think it's cool and see how well it's doing online what's stopping those with underdeveloped brains from snagging a kid off the beach to try and recreate tony's success i know that sounds crazy i know but crazier things have happened as a result of the influence these Facts. acts have on people's minds and decisions, I assure you. So that's where we're at with the Tony and Timmy lore. I'm looking forward to the next update. I don't know what they're going to do next. I mean, maybe they could heist a bank. Maybe they'll climb Everest. Idiots will always imitate other idiots and be even stupider with what they do. All I know is that he's going to continue doing what it takes to keep those TikTok views rolling in because this baby works right here. And for those of you that were sending me concerned messages, I can assure you with 99.9% .9 certainty, because truly you really can't rule anything out anymore, um, that this is uh, scripted. So don't lose any sleep tonight. Timmy wasn't truly lost for two weeks and is probably being taken care of. For the rest of you, thanks for watching. You know, I appreciate your time. Let me know what you think about the Timmy and Tony lore in the comments. And before you're done, stand up out of your chair, drive to the nearest beach, find a child that has no parents around and take it to a movie. Don't do that. And then return them home afterwards to make a feel good story and then hit thrust that motherfucking like button for me. I'll see you in the next that video. Do. Peace. That was 
a story and a half. So, what did you guys think of uh, this uh, this style of video? Do you guys want to see more of this type of video? Me reacting to other uh, YouTubers. Uh, I'm not going to be doing uh, YouTuber expose videos unless it matches the Red Series vibe. YouTubers can do whatever the frig they want, but I wouldn't mind showcasing uh, YouTubers that I like and respect, like Leon Lush. So there's other guys that I've thought about doing uh, reaction videos uh, to. Guys like Elvis the Alien, like Geeks and Gamers, uh, Mr. Gigi, Leo, six, Leo 16. Leo 16, let's try that again. <laughs> so those are a couple of the guys that I've wanted to do a reaction type of uh, uh, videos. I've recently started watching Asmogold. Uh, Asmogold? Is it Asmogold or Asmogold? Anyways, I recently started watching his uh, videos. Uh, uh, he is a lot different. His content is a lot different than I, uh, than I expected it to be. I started watching when I was when I started getting into uh, the Dark Souls games and stuff like that. Uh, he was a big Soulsborne uh, player, and then recently I started watching his reaction type of videos, which kind of kickstarted me doing these, uh, getting into gear to make the video with uh, Leon Lush. So Leon Lush is somebody that I've been watching for at least a year, at least a year or uh, two that I've discovered Leon. He's uh, He's a good guy. He's a good guy. And I'll leave it at that. So thank you very much for watching this video. If you enjoyed the video, hip, <laughs> hip thrust that mother loving like button and come back for more videos. I appreciate you guys giving me a few minutes out of your time. Jigavega out.